first slide is the theme, uh, is a, spe <coughs> a special theme for the peril nasal sinuses. We try to ventilate uh, with CFD the anterior ethmoid, the maxillary and the frontal sinus uh, with special consideration of the ethmoid infodibulum with CFD. In our experimental work, we aim to present the ventilation, ventilation in and expiration in the perinatal sinuses with compulsion fluid dynamics. We believe that this physiological part of the perinatal sinuses is presented the very first time today. After producing a thin layer, computed tomography of the PS a mesh of the nose is generated out of the DICOM data including the nasal cavity and the perinasal sinuses with all their related holes. Now the workflow, thin layer computed tomography of the perinasal sinuses, layer thickness 0 0.5 millimeters, then the production of the mesh out of the DICOM images with the support of artificial intelligence. After we, we make the CFD in the perinasal sinuses. We believe that 1 to 3 percent of the total nasal airflow of the in and expiration of the nose penetrate the perinasal sinuses via the holes. At the left side, upper left side you see the, the ostium of the sinus maxillary, at the right side the ostium of the sinus frontalis, and for example for the whole ethmoid the ostium of the bulla ethmoidalis, and at the back the ostium of the sinus phenoidalis. Now uh, I show you the in and expiration of the anterior ethmoid, the maxillary and the frontal sinus with three videos. First of all I, I start the ethmoid. You see uh, a slow motion um, video. Uh, you see the at the left side the, the going time. At three seconds, it changes. The, the time is uh, the 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 flow is changing from into expiration. Now you you see after three seconds, the expiration is coming. And uh, in the red and yellow green color, there's a more volume, and a lower lower volume is is only blue. At the right side, I okay. Thank you. Now I start the inspiration of the sinus maxillaries. Uh, you see the the way from the from the top of the nose going to the to the edmund, uh, to the infundibulum, and then uh, into the sinus maxillaries. The time is changing, the, 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 ins the inspiration is changing with the expiration, and the last part you see now the expiration through out of the nose of the right side. Now I show you a right, the inspiration and expiration of the right side of the sinus frontalis. You see it, uh, sometimes the recessus frontalis, yes. Now it changes from in to expiration. Here in the sinus frontalis, we, we had only 1% of the whole volume of the in and expiration. Okay. Now I'll show you the flow in the posterior uh, ethmoid <coughs> and in the sinus phenoidalis uh, going the way in in and expiration to the upper meatus. Okay, it starts again with the inspiration, and you see the posterior esmoid, and the part of the sinus phenodaris is also ventilated. Then it changes. You have now the exp expiration coming out of the nasopharynx and over the me upper meatus. 
it's going outside. On the small part, you see only the blue lines, one to two percent are going to the posterior ismoid. And now we have the last video. Thank you. We have the focus for the CFD ventilation for the sinus sphenoid artis. Okay. Now it changes. You see now the expiration through the upper meatus. Okay, I think we can stop it, yes. Yeah, thank you. Now our conclusion, our experimental studies of the MESH and the CFD of the healthy nose prove that only about 1 to 3% of the total nasal airflow goes through the paranasal sinuses. Second conclusion, functional ventilation through all their small holes is part of the physiology of the paranasal sinuses. These results add to the basic fundamentals on the function of the perinatal sinuses, respiratory epithelium, mucociliary clearance mechanism, as researched by Professor Walter Messerklinger in Graz, Austria. Thank you for your attention. Does the volume of these sinuses change a little bit during the respiratory cycle, or are they uh, yes, completely it's static? Yes, a, a, a very good question. Also, uh, we try to, to make this uh, research, first of all, that the healthy noses, we think so, with a normal CT without any demography, yes. Uh, and I can answer you that uh, we have a very uh, a very small flow in the ventilation, but uh, in several parts of the of the peronasal sinuses, the expiration makes ma more volume to the to the sinus maxillary or sinus frontalis. Yes? But I'm not able to to give you the the the, the full answer because it differs. Yeah? Uh, and sometimes the the expiration for the sinus frontalis is better. Uh, and, and the expiration of sinus, for example, is, 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 is lower. Yeah.